Plaintiff Tammy Redmond says the defendant is her nephew, and she's always been there for him because he had a rough relationship with his father, and his mother passed away two years ago. Tammy says the defendant is not to be trusted, and she's suing him today for loans. Defendant Rocky Burton admits that he and Tammy have always been close, and she gave him a place to stay when he had nowhere else to go. Rocky insists the money from Tammy was an investment, not a loan, and he's countersuing for defamation and emotional distress. Start with you. It saddens me to be here today because Rocky is my nephew and I love him very much. We've been through everything together. He's always counted on me for everything. Like what? For a place to stay, for a car to drive, food to eat, money. Why did he count on you? His parents weren't interested in helping him? Actually, his mother passed two years ago. Yeah. But his, him and his dad's always had a real rough relationship. And, um, and I hate you all be, have always been close. Yeah, we've been really did close. Did you all have any problems prior to the incident you're suing about? Uh, no, sir. All right. Let me hear from you. A little uh, background on. That is true, Your Honor. Me and her has always been close and she has always been there for me. She's did a lot for me over the years. She has gave me a home to stay in when I didn't have one. When was that? Uh, two years ago. Why? Uh, well, we were roommates. I paid my part. Oh, OK. You all act like she was uh, taking care of you. No, I mean, okay. we, we, he just, did, we have. He did. Pay his right, part sometimes. His share. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah. I have, right. I have leaned on Tammy. What'd you do years. the other time? <laughs> Lived off from me. Why? Because he didn't have no money. Nobody would working. Oh, you weren't working? So, sometimes I wasn't working, but I work usually. 90. So why didn't you pay? Uh, because in my business, it comes and goes pretty much. Well, why don't work. you save it when it comes? Well, I'm a bad saver. I will admit to that. He thinks his name's Rockefeller, not Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You go and pop your money off at the trick club or the strip club? No. <laughs> no, Your Honor, no. What do you do? Go to the bar? I just spend it. I mean, I don't know. It goes easy. Money's, money's don't go as far today. <laughs> go ahead, ma'am. Why are you suing her for 5000 in loans? Okay. I made Rocky three different loans. I have a breakdown if you'd like Let's to see, see it. Geez. And he's made me three payments. Thank you. When were the loans? They were May, June, and June. Yeah, I learned. And he paid money. in July, July, and August. What were the terms of the repayment? Because he has paid you some. But he didn't pay me all of it. What were the terms? He was supposed to make me payments each week when he come in. He's a core buyer. When he was to sell his load of parts, he was to come and make me a payment. If he had a good week, I was supposed to get a good payback. If he had a short week, then it would be a short payback, but he was supposed to pay me back some every week. Plaintiff Tammy Redmond is suing her nephew, who claims Tammy badmouthed him to friends and family by calling him a thief. All right, so you tell me, what was the agreement and what happened? <laughs> Actually, Your Honor, it wasn't it wasn't a loan. It was an investment in my business. She put up the money. I do the How work. How much did she put up for your business? Uh, she put up, to begin with, 6500 And what did you spend it on? Uh, I buy and sell automobile parts. Mm -hmm. And the payment she's talking about that I gave her back mm -hmm. was actually her cut for the week. Okay. She, she's making she's making money off from it, and and it kind of makes sense because what you keep saying, ma'am, is he paid you based on the amount of business he received that week. Correct. And he says and the reason he pays you in that manner is because you are a partner, and partners only get money if the company makes money. Correct. And uh, and 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 a lot of when the, did the business stop making money? Well, in uh, late July, uh, the uh, the scrap business changes by the stock market. Aluminum goes down, copper goes down. Well, we took a great big hit. It went down 40% in late July. When that did, I lost a lot of the money by having material. Uh, material on hand and it went down. So I took the little bit of money I had left and kept investing that. When is the last time you received any income from the business? Uh, I'm actually in business with someone else now. No, from the business you were in with her. Uh, any of the income? 
uh, I started struggling in late July, sir. So uh, there, there wasn't no income from late July. Okay. I actually have some witness statements here for my counter claim. Uh, and what was the, let me have it please. And so essentially there was an understanding between the two of you if we don't get the 6,500 back in, in sales, then you're not gonna get your 6,500 back? Well, I can't say that, sir, because you never look at the bad side of a picture. Okay, we, you we, all didn't we, look we, at the we bad never, side. <laughs> we never talked about what happened if the market okay. fell. All right. We it's never uh, we never discussed that. We <laughs> was all hoping, roses. We was like, hoping for good uh, right, the whole sir. time, but that's not what happened. What do you have, ma'am? You wanted to prove Judge something? Mathis, have? I have witness statements on Rocky too, and I couldn't afford to be a business investor to risk losing. That was all the money that I had. I loaned him the money. Why would you risk it, it says, loaning it to me then? You're still risking it. Ma I have text he messages. He makes a good point. Say, I Ma have text hold messages. Hold on, listen. He makes a good point. Don't use the defense. Because of, I felt sorry all right, for All right, you're going to talk over I'm me? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, show me what I'm you sorry. want, man. What is it I'm supposed to see? There's text messages on here saying, I give you my word, I'll pay you back every dollar. I sold my guns to pay my rent. There was no work this week. I give you my word. I will pay you back. I didn't get any parts. And he's telling me that the truck that he had, the truck got towed in Franklin, Kentucky. They have towed me to call the 800 number. I promise I will get the parts back or pay you every dime. So what do you say to that? Uh, Here, you can hand this to him, please. I, I, don't, remember. I don't remember. The I don't remember the text with the star by it. I don't remember the text message that's saying that. I mean, I'm sure at some time. Sounds like you were in business together, but you guaranteed her her money back. No. That's yes, what sir. it sounds like to me. I, ne I never. Sounds like you were right. You were in business. Everything you say and she says equals you all were business partners. You paid me according to the profits. You paid me according to the sales. But then I'll sell parts. But if I don't sell parts, I'll give you every dime. You guaranteed her her investment back. Plaintiff Tammy Redmond is suing her nephew, who claims Tammy badmouthed him to friends and family by calling him a thief. 5000 for your counterclaim for defamation. How does she owe you? Uh, well, sir, uh, she made it hard for me to get a job. I had, uh, she told everyone that I tried to go to work with that I was a thief, that uh, how, I, how more or less she made it, that I had stole the money. How many her. people did she tell that to? Uh, everybody, everybody I've talked to. I okay, just, you have to give me some specifics. Uh, she told the new, man, the new man that I work with, now that's my partner. And she's on here? Yes, sir. That, okay. That's uh uh, Ma'am, did you tell anyone that? No, sir, I didn't. You didn't discuss I loaned it with him anyone? the money. I understand. Uh, ma'am, we went yes. over that. Ma'am, ma'am, answer no. my questions. I'm, you're no, frustrating sir, me a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You keep saying the same thing over and over. I ask you a totally different question. I loaned him the money. <laughs> did you ever discuss your business problems that you had with him with anyone else? No. Not true, Your Honor. Except yeah, that my family members. <laughs> what did you tell them? I just told them that Rocky wasn't paying me and everybody's laughed in my face because he's burned every bridge. His dad will not trust him with $5 to go to McDonald's and that's, bring him back something to eat. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true, Your Honor. When did you learn that to be the case about him? I knew that. Oh, and when you loaned him $6,500, you yes, knew that. You I knew that sorry. he couldn't be trusted to go to McDonald's, yet you say you <laughs> loaned him $6,500. And All right. And, and, and honor, sir, do you have anyone else other than your business partner? My wife. I, I've just recently been married. She's told, she's told my new family that I'm a thief. Ma'am, did you speak with his wife at all? I talk to her sometimes, but not about the business. You I mean, never discussed the business with her. 
Yeah, she was there once when I talked to Rocky. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Sir, I'm going to grant you $1,000 for your defamation and emotional distress claim. You have two witness statements that said she discussed and defamed your character. Here today, she boarded on defaming your character when she discussed you are not to be trusted to even go to McDonald's, <laughs> even though she loaned you $6,500. So I'm tempted to believe that after this episode, with the business, she began defaming you because that's when she began to distrust you. I do not believe if a man couldn't be trusted enough to go to McDonald's that you would loan him $6,500. I do believe it is the case that you are upset that he did not pay you back. So then you began talking about him in a destructive way. However, I will grant you the $5,000 because I do believe, well, he is assured you he guaranteed your investment back you guaranteed it sir when you said i will either get the parts or i will pay you every dime you guaranteed it five thousand for the plaintiff and one thousand for the defendant have a good day I love my Aunt Tammy. I've got nothing against Tammy. Tammy has helped me all over the years. She's been there for me. I'm just glad this is resolved. I hope we can move on. Yes, we can. I, I love my, he's my baby nephew. That's why I give him the money because I love him. I just, if he needs a roof, you got mine. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's all I got I to say. I appreciate it. I love you.